You know, it's crazy. 2D animation is a bitch. It's a bitch. 3D animation is also a bitch. The thing about the thing about 2D is you have to decide. In 3D too, but you know, you have to decide what you want to do and what's worth it. But once you start learning, once you get it down, that's when you can just you like when I started drawing and now I just draw shit, you know, just out of my imagination and I'm getting cool results, so I've definitely gotten somewhere. And Photoshop, because I was I've drawn most like my pieces, you know, not animations, but like my pieces, like single pieces on just paper, which <clears throat> was cool for just relaxing and like watching TV and stuff. And and I do like the traditional way, but it's cool because Photoshop's like, you know, you can put in gradients and you should just like fucking just color spill on there cuz and that's way more convenient too. Uh I still like traditional but I'm trying to learn how to shade. I need to learn how to shade. There's there's a lot that I need to do. But I guess the best the best tip really for drawing, for making new stuff, for drawing out of imagination but drawing there's more than, you know, just drawing from imagination. It's like drawing from instinct. Drawing from feeling, not like drawing from imagination or drawing from a concept or drawing like technical drawing cuz technical drawing is like, you know, you're drawing something like you're drawing something specific for a client or something. But um I think it's a uh, there, there's another type and it, it does work with your imagination and technical aspects. But it's kind of like free flow, like freestyle, but it's like intuition drawing. Like you're drawing from a good feeling. You're drawing with passion. Like when you're putting it down, your pencil is like going in a, in a, in a shape of its own. You know what I mean? And that's what I feel like when I'm doing when I'm doing this stuff is it's, you know, it's just kind of taking on a, a life of its own. It's just kind of coming out in a different way. Now, one thing I did realize is putting real objects in. So like this key, right? This little robot, the key up on the, uh, in this drawing. Uh, the robot down here, he has a like soda can for a head. So you, you take like real objects and put and I've done this thing where I just go look at objects like just any object like a pencil or a remote a TV you know like a light bulb anything a chair screwdriver you know like just like random stuff and like turn it into something weird or like take it and put it in there with it so like when a person looks at it it kind of it makes the object different to them like it puts a new twist on the image, like the image of it that they see in their mind. And that's why it becomes interesting because your mind's like, what the fuck? You know? Um, but, you know, I believe in repetition and just there, there's so many different types. But I kind of, I believe in like intuitive drawing. You know? Like just drawing, like it's from imagination but it's like drawing with confidence, but it's intuitive. So you're just drawing, just drawing and you keep drawing, you keep drawing, you keep drawing. And then you just draw original stuff. I need to draw more women though. That's one thing I need to do. I know that some people struggle with that drawing with women or drawn women, but I'm drawing like freaky stuff. So I would like to draw other stuff. Well, that's all, I guess.